On the morning of August 23rd, multiple American submarines were detected off of the coast of Guadalcanal. Over the course of the morning, three United States submarines were sunk by land-based aircraft and our hunter-killer group operating in the area. At around noon, our scouts picked up a large U.S. fleet consisting of four light cruisers and two destroyers. All forces in the area are now converging on their position. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome back to another exciting episode of War on the Sea as the Imperial Japanese Navy. As you can see, our forces are retreating from New Guinea, Care Div 5 is heading east, and Task Force 6 is going to loop around here and head up to Rabaul to rearm. Care Div 5 is going to try to get in range to launch its aircraft against this task force we just picked up, two destroyers and four light cruisers. As you can see, we already have land-based VALs from Guadalcanal in the area. We will attack soon. Task Force 13 is now in the area. They will try to engage. However, I do want to do a night engagement against a task force like this. So we'll linger around and see what they can do. They are just destroyers and light cruisers. They can't actually bombard our positions here on Guadalcanal. So there is that silver lining. Our convoy's heading down here. That's really what I'm worried about. I do want to protect that. And we also have quite a few new, <laughs> quite a few submarines I've recruited. Um, we have five more subs heading off to the New Hebrides and I'll split them all up and they will kind of blockade this area. Um, I-40 has moved north. I need to give her a proper search pattern. She is going to continue to look for that North Carolina class battleship. Um, we torpedoed in the previous episode. I'm not sure if we'll be able to find her. It's very possible it just went back to the New Hebrides to uh, begin repairs, but we'll see. And with that, I think we are going to... Oh, also, we have sunk three submarines this morning. Looks like all three Gato class subs on uh, early in the 23rd, so... Pretty cool. We've sunk a total of 134 ships. And what have we lost? We have lost five, four subs and one destroyer. So, okay. Well, with that, let's uh, go to tactical and begin the attack and see what what's cooking. Okay. Our valves are at one kilometer. Perfect. There are the enemy ships. We are going to probably just hit the one in the rear. Let's see what they are. Okay. It's like, what, Brooklyn's maybe? Six. Not an aircraft, of course. Let's flip to the light cruisers. Yep, Brooklyn class. It's like two of them. Cleveland. And an Atlanta. Okay, yeah, we'll hit the, we'll hit the Brooklyn's. First, let's make sure everyone um, ready to attack. There we go. They're all attacking separately. Perfect. And they're just going to go for that last light cruiser there. There's also two destroyers in the lead. Not too concerned about them, really. They are going to cause some trouble whenever we attack with our subs. Same with this Atlanta, but... We'll just pick them off from the rear. I'm hoping our carrier group can get into range soon. They're around 200 kilometers away from being able to launch their Kates. Okay, fouls are under fire. Jeez, a lot of anti-aircraft. Holy crap. It's that Atlanta, man. Okay, they should begin their dive soon. There we go. They're all pushing over. Look at that. It's insane. One down. Okay, bombs away. Wow, that was that was a pretty poor drop. Okay, everyone, uh, get out of here. Not a good drop at all. Uh, two hits, apparently. I thought there was only one, so slightly better. And they're all going to get shot down. Except this guy. He's going to live. Maybe. <laughs> wow. That is intense. 
Oh, we'll get this one out of here. He'll RTB and we'll hit him again and again and again. Okay, the valves are running in. Being shot at, of course. And there we go. There's the barrage. That is insane. It's pretty cool to see all that, though. That is, that is nice. A lot of people say I spend too much time uh, looking around, but... I mean, there's not much else I can do right now, but look at this. Holy cow. Okay, we're going to watch them go in. Come on. Good drops, boys. I have them all attacking one at a time. Once again. Go. There we go. Beautiful. Much better. Okay, let's make sure our vows are getting out of here. Police, run away. Full speed. That was a pretty good hit there. Looks like three of them may get away this time. Looks like she has fires breaking out through out the ship here. And she is coming to a stop. Her speed is just three knots, just drifting. Okay. Much better results. And three valves got out of there. We have a Pete in the area as well. Let's make sure it's not about to fly. No, it's not. I-23 is up here, but she is... Wow, one just ate it. One's going down. Well, and there we go. She is sinking. Beautiful. We'll get this next Brooklyn, and then we'll work on the uh, Cleveland and the Atlanta. And for those of you that were curious, here are the results. We lost two aircraft, one ship sunk, 9,700 tons, and seven command points gained. Okay, there are quite a few American scout planes here over one of our subs. I went ahead and sent some zeros over here to kind of take them out. So we'll blow this Kingfisher out of the sky. There were two on the campaign map, so I'm curious to see if we'll get another one pop up here. I-23 is currently submerged, which is good. And there we go. We just toasted that guy. Adios, amigo. We'll stick around and see if we can find the other one. I'm not, uh, not sure if we will here, but we'll look. Well, doesn't look like we're going to, but we destroyed one, so that's one less we have to worry about now. Okay, a quick situation update. It seems like I-23 is in position to make an attack on them. We also have this group of three destroyers in the area. Not too worried about that. We have launched Kates from Carediv 5. They are carrying one 800 kilogram bomb, and they should be able to hit this cruiser force um, soon. So let's go ahead and begin this. Go to tactical and see if they're anywhere close. Oh, indeed they are. What is our current sea state? I may go for the Atlanta, to be honest, with our sub. Anyway, well, let's see states four. There's a layer at 49 meters, so that's going to be mighty helpful. Okay, reduce speed first. Rig for silent running and up scope. We need to turn around, don't we? And we can make that happen. So we are going to target the Atlanta. Okay, ship's not detected, even though I can look at it. There we go. Bring up our rec manual. It's an American. And Atlanta. There we go. How many more? Oh, they have quite a few Atlantas. All right. Mostly just want to take this out so our aircraft has have an easier time. But we may have a surface engagement tonight, so it may be better actually go for probably the heavy hitter, huh? Yeah, let's let's do that. Let's do that. Okay, let's get some time compression turning going. We'll actually turn to port. Get ourselves in a position like that. Solutions at 80%. Should be this should be a good attack. It's our torpedo state. Perfect. We are going to launch four, a one degree spread. That should be enough to sink it, right? Be honest, I'm surprised the North Carolina was able to recover so quickly after the attack um, in the previous episode. So I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'll just, uh, I'll just hope. That this will be enough. Solutions 90%. 
Okay, rudder amidships. Should be fine. Turn on radar. 99%. Beautiful. Okay, and I guess we will fire. All right, torpedoes, fire. All righty. Down scope, increase speed to five knots, drop down to 130 meters, and turn this way. Let's head east. Okay, those four torpedoes should be running hot straight normal towards the target. There they are, looking pretty good. Use some time compression, I suppose. And see our torpedoes right there, and this looks like it's going to be a bunch of hits. And here they go. Yep, this is it. We'll see if it's enough to sink her. One hit. Two. Three. And four. Ouch. That's gotta hurt. They're all going evasive now. She is slowing down dramatically. She is dead in the water. There we go. She's sinking. Perfect. We can go ahead and just leave the battle. There's no point in sticking around. I've learned my lesson. They're all scattering. And they're turning right for us, but we should be able to leave before they get close. Okay, we are clear to leave. Let's leave. One ship sunk, seven command points gained. Beautiful. Continue onward. And the next attack will definitely be with our Kates, hopefully. Either against this flotilla of destroyers or this other group here. I'd rather take out the cruisers, of course. I think we can handle the destroyers with this battle fleet. But time will tell. Well, sadly, we were not able to pick up the cruiser group again. So these guys are RTBing uh, back to Care Div 5. We'll see if we can engage them tonight. If not, Care Div 5 will be much closer in the morning and we will be able to hit them hard with our carrier-borne aircraft. Anyway, we'll keep patrolling this area. I'm trying to keep my subs out of trouble since there are a lot of destroyers in the area. Um, and then Task Force 13 is going to push up and see if we can find them. Okay, Task Force 13 has intercepted these enemy destroyers. We are going to go to tactical now and see. Wow, they're right there. Okay, <laughs> beautiful. Uh, I am worried about our poor, poor battleships here. We're going to try to cross the T with them. Okay, so first off, Haruna. Actually, the destroyers are going to split off, form up, and you head this way. Yeah, something, something. Actually, you just cut down in. Bring up 34 knots. Okay, Haruna and our cruiser, 30 knots, and just turn west. Yeah, seems good. Okay, begin targeting number one. Let's see what we got here. Number three is probably the most dangerous, the Fletcher here. Hmm, yeah, okay, so actually, these two will engage the Fletcher, begin firing. Make sure you are firing with your secondaries. You are. Let's identify it as a Fletcher class destroyer. Fletcher, there we go. Radar is air search radar. It's not going to do anything for us here. And, okay. Yeah. They are opening fire. Make sure you are firing high explosive against these guys, though. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, beautiful. Okay. Destroyer time. Destroyers begin... These two are going to engage number one. Open fire with your guns. Actually, start shooting star shells over them. Yeah, do that for me. These two are going to target the Fletcher and shoot star shells. Fire. There we go. And we'll let the heavy hitters do their job. And that's exactly what I'm worried about. We just caught that. They are just dumping torpedoes into the water. That was uh, my main concern. It's pretty cool we saw them uh, doing that, though. Neat. Anyway, not too worried about them yet. They, of course, are firing star shells as well. Let's switch to star shells on our secondaries on Haruna. Open up with star shells. Light them up. 
Okay, wait, you're going top speed? Indeed you are. Okay. This is looking okay so far. I'm mostly concerned about eating a torpedo. Okay. So... Alright. This is fine. Okay, Fletcher is already smoking. Switch to high explosive, fire, narrow, fire. I think that's enough star shells. <laughs> Something, something's telling me. Fletcher's already looking pretty poor though. Okay, I'm gonna tell our destroyers to begin opening up with high explosive. Make sure they're all doing this. High explosive, just full patterns, please. High explosive, make sure you're doing it too. Oh, you're not targeting anybody. Here we go. High explosive, fire. We'll save our torpedoes. I, I'm not too keen on using our torpedoes against three destroyers, especially with the uh, the enemy cruisers in the area. There's the torpedo wakes. I have a feeling they launched when we were still kind of on this heading. We'll adjust course here momentarily. I just want our heavy hitters to kind of get in their best positions. That Fletcher is looking awful. Okay, let's adjust uh, course for destroyers. I just want to avoid them getting hit. One's been hit. Just took a hit. Fletcher is on fire. Okay, I think it's time. Haruna, your secondaries, stop firing. Engage number one. Fire with your secondaries at that one. I mean, she's right there. Let's try to identify really quickly. And Benham. Our primaries should still be firing at the Fletcher. Indeed, they are. The Fletcher is now sinking. Beautiful, beautiful. Make sure we are targeting with both directors. Fire. Send her to the bottom, please. Let's update orders for everybody. That's you. Attack number two, shall you? Fire. And fire. Two, firing at Benham. Okay, you target number two. And you target number two. Thank you, thank you. Let's look for those torpedoes. Oh man, there they are. Those, yeah, those, not a good spread. Ouch. That's gotta hurt. She almost ran into her own torpedoes there. Looks like they're running away. It's probably the smart decision. Poor Fletcher. Okay, let's start turning southwest, shall we? Just want to be sure we get out of the way of that, that fat spread of torpedoes. Okay, Benham's not looking good. Let's switch. Let's switch. Open fire. I'm not going to fire torpedoes yet. Let's identify the target. Okay, okay, okay. Um, Gleaves. Let's go with that. I don't care if it's 100% accurate. Jeez. That one's not looking too good. Okay. Haruna, stop. Target the Gleaves now. Fire. How much ammunition do we have with our main batteries? Oh, we are using AP now. We only have four rounds. Yeah, HE is getting mighty low. We'll fire a few more salvos and then quit. Just burn through that ammo so fast. We don't carry a whole lot of high explosive ammo anyway. Jeez. Okay, let's uh, a status check on the torpedoes. 
Please, there they are. They're way out there. Yeah, those. Those are gonna miss. Beautiful. Oh, these poor destroyers. This one is sinking now, the Benham. Perfect. Talk about a seal clubbing. <laughs> oh, man. I'm curious where those cruisers ran off to. I have a feeling, like I said, they they are heading back home. I feel more confident engaging those cruisers now. It'd be an interesting fight, but at least we got rid of these guys. Okay. Haruna, make sure you're not firing armor piercing. Yeah, hold fire with your primary guns. There we go. She's sinking. That's three down. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. And looks like we have a little bit of damage here. Nothing too crazy. One compartment has no integrity, but we should be able to live with that. Um, torpedo launchers are damaged. Yeah, some damage, some flooding. Nothing, nothing terrible, though. I'll probably just hang out here and get these under control. I'm going to have you yeah, I'll slow down a little bit and uh, get all that, all that under control, and then we will leave the battle. And here we are. We gained 13 command points. All three destroyers were sunk. We received moderate damage on one of them and minor damage, actually, on another destroyer. So, overall, pretty good fight. Well, I suppose that will conclude today's episode. I have a little bit of housekeeping to do in terms of orders, but I'll do all that off screen. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and comment, as it really does help out the channel. But until next time, this is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I will see you all on the next one.